So the, um, here we are in Macy's with Isley, and um, so we are having an interview with Isley at Macy's. Um, I guess the first question of the day is what um, you performed at Ace of Spades a couple days ago, and it was uh, more a rock venue, and today you performed at, at a different, yeah. What's, how, how did, could you describe like the difference between the two or any yeah. reactions? Uh, um, it's fun playing all electrical, the whole band is obviously a lot more fun because you know you have the bass and the drums there. And it's a different experience, a lot more energy. But with the acoustic set, it's difficult because you have to really be on your game because you can hear every mess up, yeah. every yeah. wrong chord. You know, with the electric um, setup, you have more room to kind of, more room for error. But um, it's both are really fun, you know. For, we do miss out, with, we do miss out because we don't get the guys when we do acoustically. Yeah, they make it sound better. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other question is, um, Stacy's got a new solo album. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, um, well, it's definitely not anywhere near being finished, but yeah, I am working with my friend and husband. Um, my friend's name is Jeremy Larson, and I'm working with him in Springfield. And Jeremy did some of the strings. Yeah, we worked on our last record. Isley's worked with him as well. Like, um, he did the strings on Kind and stuff. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm working on slowly but surely trying to fit into the cracks of what we're doing and what everybody else is doing. Um, and then you also have a, a new video that you did. Mm -hmm. yep. Can you tell me a, a little bit about that video? And yeah. It's going to be fun. Uh, we don't really know exactly what to expect, but it's going to be sort of sci-fi-ish. Uh, so we're really excited about it. <laughs> yeah, the reason we don't know what to expect is because it's going to have a lot of CGI, like monsters and creatures and things happening around us. And so we basically just had to put on these kind of helmet things to monitor our, our, our head movements. A CGI. And so there was a lot of just like weird moving around acting like there was stuff there. It should be fun. It, it should be interesting. I'm not sure when it'll be out, but it's for um, the Valley. Uh, are, do you have another EP coming out after the Valley? And tell me. Uh, we don't have a date set yet, but it's going to be coming out in November for sure. Sometime in November. Five songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five songs. Mm -hmm. um, all new, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. all new. Mm -hmm. Like, can you give me a little um, kind of uh, idea of what, what's the feeling of this? I know this last one, you, the valley is more about heartbreak and right. angst. Yeah. And um, this new EP is kind of just, it was a very relaxed kind of environment because we recorded in our houses, which is the first time we've got to do that. So. We kind of just, I mean, one of the songs is about space travel. It's a sci-fi song. It's kind of like, yeah, a sigh of it's relief nice. after everything that we've all been through. I think, you know, mm -hmm. the way that we're working together is a lot more relaxed. And, you know, very low pressure, kind of just about, you know, it's there's some love songs and songs about, you know, experiences that we've gone through in the last few months. But, you know, it's very, it was a very low pressure kind of fun yeah. project, you know, not having to worry about a major label or anything down her next kind of like write this kind of song so none of that and so I think it really you can tell gave the project, in the music yeah it gave us room to kind of breathe which is fun yeah so that was the other question with the now that you're with the the, the change between um, labels I mean does that give you more freedom why, why did you make that change or decide to do that it was just time it was just time we had been with Warner Brothers since 2003 our contract had ended and you know it just it wasn't working out they, they just we forgot were, about us we weren't what we what they wanted and so and then we found equal vision thankfully and they're, they're just really amazing and they're very supportive so it was a good fit for us excellent and anything else you want to tell your fans they can talk. So yeah, guys. They know how to speak. They're not, they're not, they're not mute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah. So just, yeah, we'll be on tour again probably in the spring. Yeah. But do we do have the EP and the video? Yeah, so look for that. Yeah. Thanks.